I am frustrated that some, particularly in the private sector, but some also in the social sector, have taken so long to do so. That's why I'm taking the action that I am today, as promised, to name and shame those private sector entities that have failed to take the actions that all of us, I think, in this House would expect them to do, particularly given public money is being put now at their disposal to remove this dangerous cladding. I will take all the steps necessary to do so, and I'll do so as quickly as we possibly can. John Healy. Well, Mr Speaker, we've heard this before, and frustration and exhortation simply isn't sufficient. Social sector blocks are just the tip of the iceberg, and he still hasn't got a grip of those. Four months ago, he promised action against private block owners who are not removing unsafe Grenfell-style ACM cladding. But his own departmental figures show that 43 block owners, that's one in four, don't even have a plan in place. Now, he's got to do more to act, and that's before you even get into 1,000 extra non-ACM unsafe blocks. So enough is enough. Will he now accept and back the Labour plan for legislation to make those private block owners do and pay for the remedial action and put a stop to the scandal where vulnerable uh, flat owners are having to pay simply to make their homes safe? Yeah. Well, the, the right honourable gentleman is behind uh, the curve on this one. He's behind the action that we're taking as a government. We've already said that we're going to bring forward the fire safety bill. Uh, it was in the Queen's speech. It will give the powers to fire and rescue services that he wishes. And I hope that this means that he will be supporting that bill when it comes forward in the coming months. We've said that we'll follow that quickly with the building safety bill, which will be the biggest change to fire safety and building standards in this country in my lifetime. With respect, well, the Lord Reynolds says when, we'll be doing that, we've already said, before the summer recess in draft, because this is an important and complex piece of legislation. And as regards those buildings uh, that still have ACM cladding, all but a very small number now have a clear plan to remediate that cladding. Around a third have taken it off, around a third are in the process of doing so, and the remainder have a clear plan, except for the small number of egregious building owners who I've named today.